What's the price? This is the most beautiful watch, boys, after this. Yeah, I agree. This thing. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't even do that. Yeah. She'll kill me, but 40k is yours. For no wait, no waiting list here. Shut up, man. <laughs> I knew that's gonna happen. Your girlfriend will kill me. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> interested in what deal you can do with me on the 19 as i said i want the 19 do you want the 18 do you like the mark one or <laughs> he's like two million pounds right now I'll, I'll, pay, I'll buy it i was like one i haven't got one and, <laughs> and, and, and two i don't know you're about a million and a half short gmt master 2 116758 saru today i have a really special special data owner the 126505 Yeah, yeah, this is like uh, where, as you can see, we've got this is the sofa where you're recording this. Is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, yes. How's your football? Uh, football's good. Yeah. Football's yeah. good. How's uh, Birmingham? How Birmingham doing? How Birmingham's doing? Well, we had a, uh, we were doing very well. I would say. This is what I wanted to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> right don't put that. Don't put this. Who's <laughs> <laughs> got the best collection in Birmingham? You. Yeah. Uh, it was, I would say, Troy Deeney when he was last season and uh, Kevin Long. Oh, yeah. Um, but I, I, the best the best collection it was uh, when I was at Derby with uh, Richard Stearman. He was the best. Yeah. And then he once showed me as well, um, he once showed me as well the, the player he used to play in Fulham. And he had like a box of mates. Crazy, crazy. one. <laughs> like, pl plenty of Pateks, APs. All them skeletons as well, like wow. crazy man. It's so good when you see a nice collection. Though. Yeah, like, and so, but I spoke with Steers and he said that, that guy put most of the money into his watch collection. I got this one in the uh, steel. The jump, oh, the yeah. jumper. And it's, diff it's a different heater than the, the, the 40 millimeters. Be interested to see what uh, Tom Brady wears when he comes down. Oh yeah, he's got, he's got plenty. Have you well, seen sure. it? No, I mean, but yeah. if you follow him on Insta. Yeah, he's got a few, hasn't he? Well, I like to see what someone like that wears on a daily basis. You know, where they like money's not a thing to them, is it? It's just he can just whatever he likes, he can wear. This one I'm waiting for from Rolex. You know, I I will keep waiting. I hope they can. Forget chocolate. Just... So nice. You can't go wrong. This is one of the most beautiful watches for me. So this one. So this one as well. Nice Listen, I know your stock. I know your stock. I'm the ev <laughs> Every second, this, I'm the first one that seeing your new watches that you put on the... Do you, do you like Hublot? We've got a, we've got a Hublot you can have, mate. <laughs> I, took, I took this in part exchange um, off a guy who bought an RM and Lee said to me, he was like joking, he's like, you're wearing that until you sell it. <laughs> <laughs> the, what's, what's the, how do you call that? Meteorite? Not Meteorite. Me right? Yeah. So is that true that every single watch one's has different, different kind yeah. of... Yeah, they're my favorite. Dials. That has to be special. That yeah. has to be so special. Then, do you guys think um, we will ex we will experience something like that we experienced, uh, you know, like a year ago, or you know, with the price rises? The price the prices are like about where they should be. They're not crazy. They're not stupid. They're about right. I think things like this, in my opinion, that's going to get discontinued. So I mm. think if you're buying smart like these now, like a really good price, you'd probably pick them up for like say 16s or whatever, but I think they're going to get discontinued. And I think now is just the right time to buy. Just make me to want to buy something. <laughs> buy them all. My girlfriend was like, don't you try come back with any new watch. <laughs> You'll have to get a one as well. <laughs> Do you sell watch every day? Or not really? Every day you yeah. sell watch? Yeah, every day. Shut up. I think we sell five or six in one day sometimes. Yeah, yeah. every day. Everything. That's good. That's all we do. Some days you have. So business really doing you doing well, boys. Yeah. Since since the YouTube's changed it. Since YouTube. last time we saw you when we just started it. Yeah. yeah. It's changed massively. Yeah, for sure. You get so many people when a video goes out ringing us saying, "Just seen the video. Are you back? Can you? Are you interested in this? Have you got this?" So on a Monday when you come in, there's just inquiries everywhere. It's really good. What's the price? Forty-two five. Forty-two five. Expensive bastards. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what as well? That we we try and price cheap. 
So that would be like cheap compared to like. What's the retail well. on this one? Thirty-nine meter. Listen, I can't. I don't. I, I will contact that lady from um, from London and see if she's close or she can get me that. If she can't get me this one, I'll come back to this. This is the most beautiful watch, boys. After this, yeah, I this too. Yeah, I prefer that to the to the olive. Is that what you want? Is it? Is that what you're waiting for? That's what I'm waiting for. No, there's no point waiting. Shut up. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you want it today? I know you're going. Don't don't <laughs> don't do that. Don't even do that. Yeah. She'll kill me, but 40k is yours. For, what 30k? <laughs> <laughs> Just one. Whoa, that's 1.5 over the fucking retail. Yeah. You're gonna go back with a box. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, you didn't sell. <laughs> no, I just want 30 grand more. <laughs> this, is this is a month old. Never been worn straight out the store. No wait, no waiting list here. Shut up, man. <laughs> I knew that's gonna happen. Your girlfriend will kill me. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Card, um, ma card machine is it ch charging as well. Yeah. Ready to. <laughs> 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 Will you sell me for 40 in two months' time if I don't get it? If I still have it, yes. All of our messages come through to a central unit that we use. So that's from all of our accounts, website, everywhere basically. And we've got a guy on Insta who's after a 41 Tiffany. So basically we've got a great deal with it and me and Leah competing. We've both sent him our number and said, give us a call. And now we're just awaiting the phone call. But Leah's used a bit of underhand tactics and put, call me for a cheaper deal and sent his number. So now the wait goes on. If you want a better deal, you better just ignore him, Leah, and just message me. My number is uh, 07502 082159. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jay and welcome back to another unboxing. Today I have a really special, special Daytona. It is the 126505 Everose Gold Daytona. This is brand new 2023. It's an absolutely stunning watch, one of my favourite date owners. So as you see, it is a lovely rose gold. This rose gold is Rolex's own, and it's called Ever Rose. This particular model comes with a 4131 calibre movement. So it has a 72 hour power reserve. As standard for the Rolex date owner, it is a 40 mil case and an oyster bracelet. So this particular model is the bright black with the sun dust sub dials. And if you look closely inside the dial, you can see the rehort, so that's Rolex written all the way around inside. As usual, on every Daytona, it has a tachymeter scale fixed on the bezel. A feature specific to this Daytona, it has the function to measure elapsed time via hours, minutes, and seconds. So this model comes with the two lock clasp and the five mil easy link extension, full 18 carat ever rose gold. This is one of my personal favorite day tuners. As opposed to the yellow gold, the ever rose gold just doesn't jump out in your face as much. It's more subtle, easier to wear, you can wear it on more occasions. Obviously it's a bit, it's a, still a bit of a flashy watch, but the black dial really tones it down a bit. So as I've said, this is one of my favorite ever day tuners, but it's a bit of a hard choice between this and this on a Easter Flex. Now, what would you choose? What would you personally have? Would you rather have the full 18 carat Ever Rose Gold Oyster bracelet or would you have a Oyster Flex? You tell me. So this watch retails at £35,800, but you can get it on the grey market for between £40,000 and £50,000. So if you're interested in buying any watches you see on our website, on our YouTube, on our Instagram, don't hesitate to contact me. My details are at the bottom of the screen right now. Get in touch like comment and subscribe to our youtube channel so that's it for another video thanks for watching and i'll see you next time i've seen the episode on your youtube uh, you met the guy who sold the watch for four million pounds oh, right? and, you, yeah. and you sold one for one mil yeah or around one mil did yeah, you say but we sold that in our lifetime he said yeah. it was once a month we were oh. like, yeah. we had where a, was that was it in dubai no he's in dubai yeah. he's in dubai yeah. We had a guy who we flew to Geneva for who was buying the Tiffany Patek. Oh yeah. Pulled out last minute, but like 
flew over to meet him to oh, show him and oh, everything okay. like that, like so he could see it. And he was about to pull the trigger, but his business partner is mm. like an older guy, and he basically said, "Before I buy for three point whatever it was, he was like, let me just ask him if he wants to sell his." He said his business partner was like eighty, mm. so he rang him and he said, "Look, he said I can have it for a cheaper, so I'm gonna have to get it." And I was like, "No." <laughs> I met, I met him at the, the City game, not last season, the season before, you know, when they won the league. Uh, obviously, they win it every year, but the year that them and Liverpool were like going head to head with each other. And he literally walked over to me, I had a load of watches, and he went, Have you got the, uh, the Tiffany Patek? I'll give you two million now. I was just stood there, I'd never even spoke to him, and I was like, What? And he's like, Two million pounds right now, I'll, I'll, pay, I'll buy it. I was like, and One, I haven't got one. And, 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 and two, I don't know, you're about a million and a half short. And three, I don't know how I'm going to take that money off you. You'll have to let us know if you get your chocolate, mate. Yeah, no, I said, I'm, I gave you my work. Give me two months. If yeah. not, I'm coming back to you. Mate, I, I, hope you, I hope you get it from the AD. But if you no, don't, that's, go here. I'll, I'll take it. I think this is a very good price you yeah. just gave me. All right, guys. No, it's good to see you again. Appreciate mate. your time. Pleasure, mate. Thank you for coming in as well. And, Appreciate uh, it. Yeah, 100%. I, I will contact you. Dude, yeah, take care. Thanks Stay happy. All the best. I will let you know, yeah? Here's the thing. Um, if I'm going to be generous on the Pepsi Jubilee, yeah. if I'm going to be generous, am I going to be generous? I'm, oh, I'm in a good mood. I've sold like five. What? <laughs> So five watches, sorry. I just had one guy ring up and so bought a watch off me. Then he rings up because he's got his mate round. His mate bought a watch. Now he's just rung me up and wants another watch. And I'm like, wow. You really are in a good mood then. I'm, okay. Well, I'm happy with, always happy when I'm making sales. Yeah. So here what I'll do. And this is me being in the best mood I can, as much as you, it might pain you a little bit. Instead of 17, 250 on the watch, if I knock 500 quid off the watch, it's kind of like giving you 11 and a half on yours. Oh, but I'm more interested in what deal you can do with me on the 19, as I said. Oh, on the 19, okay. Do you want the 18? Do you like the Mark 1 or? No, no, well, we, we, we did have, I mean, last week we sold, I think, about four or five Pepsis, to be honest. So normally we can get our hands on pretty much anything, anytime, but at the moment there seems to be quite a lot of shortage of stock in the world at the moment, especially in the UK. Like, normally we have like like Pepsi's which is probably one of the hottest watches for the last month or two we'd normally have like one or two of them coming in every week so even though we were selling like one or two a week we, we'd always keep our stocks from being replenished but at the moment yeah. at the moment they are um, dwindling a little bit so so let me tell you about an 18 the difference between an 18 and a 19 uh, so an 18 is what we call a mark one so it means it's the first it's the first edition basically so it has uh, a slightly lighter bezel which is pretty much the main difference. It's always going to be a little bit more appealing to someone who collects watches or wants to have a little bit of a talking point, you know, a little bit more special. Uh, right. Anyone can have a Pepsi, but to have a Mark One's a little bit, just a little bit better. Yeah, maybe so, I'm keeping almost the best, best price you can get me on the, a Cine 1541, because, yeah, I'm not, that, I'm not like a big collector. Well, so the, the 154, I'm, I'm going to have no play in that at all. There's going to be, yeah, and there's no play. That, that's already cheap as chips, which is why I was trying to sort of say to you the 21 might be the better option, but... but oh, I see. Yeah. And because you part X in, and your part X is worth quite a lot, it's less money for you to put in. I could probably yeah. do you the, the 2020, so not the 19. I could do this 2020 that's incoming. I could do that for 16,250. That would be my best. Yeah. But again, so that's 11, 11 off yours, so that would be a difference of... 5250. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Nice to speak to you. I'll come back to you. All right, cheers, mate. Cheers, bye bye. Thanks. Interesting. He wants a Pepsi Jubilee. He's not really too bothered about year, but I think he's more bothered about price. He's got a bimetal sub 22, which I offered him 11 on, which I don't know if it is low. I just think it's a tough watch to sell, and I've got two in stock. Hi, welcome back to GMG Watches uh, with Bobby. Um, I'm going to show you another watch today. This is the fantastic GMT Master 2 116758 Saru with factory set diamonds. Something a bit different, something quite special. This watch is an 18 karat yellow gold. And the bezel and shoulders, as you can see, consists of 76 diamonds in total. Now this watch in particular, is now discontinued and it was also an off catalogue piece back in the day. This is a 2018 model, originally released in 2006, but as I said, this is now discontinued. 
Uh, this is classed as an off-catalogue piece, which meant you couldn't go and buy it direct from Rolex. You had to be invited to buy it or be selected to buy it by Rolex themselves. Off-catalogue pieces are normally there for their, the very best of their customers or, or famous people, where they want to showcase their kind of most magnificent pieces, as it were. So this watch is 18 karat yellow gold. Uh, it's also, well, it was also available in uh, 18 karat white gold and 18 karat Everose gold as well. Having seen them all, my personal favorite is the rose. I just think it has a really nice kind of blend that the colors against the rose really set well. The yellow gold is still fantastic and then followed by the white gold. So a little bit more about the watch itself. It's a 40 millimeter case like most GMTs. Obviously with it being 18 karat yellow gold, it's got some weight to it. So you have it on your wrist, you really know that you've been wearing it after some time. It has a depth of 12.5 millimeters. So again, it, the watch sits quite proud on the wrist, but still it is quite still a, a slender, a slender watch. Now, obviously this watch is available with GMG watches now. Uh, you can see it on the website. And so go and take a look, see if you're interested. The watch comes as a full set, box and papers, everything that you would expect from the AD if you were to buy it back in 2018. From an investment point of view, I've always stood by gem set watches will always hold value quite well and they will always do well in the future, um, especially off catalogue uh, gem set pieces like this. So if you are looking to add something fantastic to your collection, a real head turner, then the Saru is a great option to choose. We have the yellow gold in stock. Uh, if you were looking to get the rose or the white gold, by all means get in touch, we'll happily source those for you. They all come at different price points and depending on year, price will change as well. So to get one of these in your collection, get in contact on the number below, give us a shout, speak to either myself, Kieran, Lee or Jay, and we will happily source one of these for you, if not put this one on your wrist. Hi guys, so you may see here I have the Luxury Watch cleaning kits from the Luxury Watch Care Company. In previous videos, Jay, myself, Lee and Bobby have actually been using this product now for a while. And off the back of our last video, the owner of the company has reached out to us and asked if he can sponsor our video. So, a huge, huge thank you to today's video sponsor, the Luxury Watch cleaning kit. Each kit comes with a 6 milliliter watch cleaning foam. The ingredients in this are non-abrasive and don't include any harsh chemicals, so you can rest assured that your watch will not be getting damaged. A two milliliter watch cleaning pen, which is amazing to use. It helps you get into all them tight little bits and bobs on your watch where you can't usually clean. A drying towel to obviously dry it without putting any scratches on the watch and a polishing cloth to make sure that that watch is looking perfect. These will be available on our website for £64.99. They are also available on their website for the same price. Thank you again to today's sponsor. Make sure that you go ahead and purchase one of these. I can't recommend them enough. Here it is again, do you want to open it yourself? Yeah. <laughs> it's a lovely watch. Yeah, I usually buy them, put them away for a little bit and then think, you know, am I, am I going to wear these or yeah. am I going to, uh, yeah. going to keep them? Do you have many? Uh, not not a lot of, of Rolex, mainly because, you know, the past couple of years, it's it's not been great, has it? I think with um, COVID and stuff, people didn't go on holiday. Yeah. Uh, they had a lot of money lying yeah. around and yeah. they just started yeah. buying uh, watches. And for, for everyone else, that just kind of pushed the price up. The supply went down. How's business for you? It's good, yeah. yeah. Um, like I say, it's, it's better to work with um, people like yourself who do don't go back and forth. Yeah. You know what you want. I think it's the right size for you as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, they are. It suits your wrist. I think for me, for me too, I only go for like the little ones. Yeah, yeah. What size is that? That's is only 36. Is it a 36? Yeah, right? yeah. I've yeah. only got little wrists. Yeah. <laughs> it works, doesn't it? Thing, yeah. yeah. No, because I'm after, uh, uh, is it a date just? That's a date just, yeah. yeah. Are you after one or I am after a date just white face, a Jubilee. Okay, think. yeah, Jubilee's my favourite bracelet. We could easily source that for you. Yeah, yeah. If you're living, if you're just pacing myself because otherwise I'll no of course yeah <laughs> but whenever you're ready for it just give me a show and we'll get it we'll get a sort for the best price right would you be wearing it for special occasions or well yeah I, I, what i tend to do i tend to buy them and then i'll put it away for a month because it's like you know buy it as <laughs> yeah, we yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then and then kind of think about it is it is it a wearer or is it kind of a keeper i always think it's a shame to kind of to keep them hidden it is it is yeah so I, but i think with with this and the sprite, they'll just be like very occasional. Yeah, so. I've, I've done deals with people before and I've gone, oh, when are you going to wear it? Yeah. And, he go, and he, this, guy, this guy was like, um, probably next year. 
yeah. like in a year. Yeah. And I was like, why are you waiting to put it on? Wait it now. Excellent. Well, thanks for that. Oh, nice, nice, right. doing nice, nice doing business with you. Nice to meet you. About um, what I'm looking for yeah. after Christmas. And uh, we'll see what we can do. Of course, anytime. Just give me a call. And um, yeah, even on prices, just give me a call. See what yeah. we can do. I'll do your best price. Anyway.